And of course, when it does that, there is no way to raid Vicor with more than one coin. So your echo is gone, whatever it was. So that's the element of luck. But usually it won't screw you over enough to, to make you lose. Yeah, I won the first one, so... All, all of the good. <laughs> all of the goody goodness. So what I wonder is, is when, when one of the coins like adds or takes away gil, where does that gil come from or go? The void. <laughs> yes. The void of infinitive gil. Also, uh, just a reminder: if all thing, if all other things are equal, and you have the choice of using a smaller lot number or a larger number, but either one will be a multiple of what you want, use the larger number because the coins disappear on on the turn after they hit nine. Right. Also, there is a time limit for each turn, but I have not found that to be a significant problem so far. And now I have a problem because those border coins are all even numbers. What I should have done was just use all entry coins. I wouldn't get any I wouldn't get any points for that round, but the echo would have continued. I didn't do that. Yeah, but I mean, I I have I'm almost halfway there, and it's only five turns in out of fifteen, so it's not like I'm in much danger at this point. Yes. You see, when it comes up one, then there's really nothing you can do. I'm not sure whether you have to include the entry coin that has the echo uh, characteristic to get the echo, or if you just have to have it as one of your entry coins. Maybe, I should maybe not. I should use two nines here. Yeah, and I do. And yeah, so basically I have it now to three coins to get, and uh, several turns left. But by, by this time I was thinking, okay, well, I won, but I haven't really been tested. You need to find some experienced. Yes, I do need to find someone more experienced. I think I wandered around for a bit looking for someone and I cut out, yeah, I cut out my wandering. Okay, you need 40 coins in 15 turns here, so it is, it, it is somewhat stricter. I'm sure you can do it, it was math. <laughs> But yeah, also another thing, don't don't use an entry coin with the same number as as the core sphere as your first uh, as your first one because then you know you won't get any points that round. That's no good. That's no good. <laughs> so there's a playground in Poland that was considering using Winnie the Pooh as like, you know, its mascot or something, and, and then it decided no because he has he has no no pants. And I was just rather confused when I looked at it. It's like how many cartoon characters have no pants? Nuts. <laughs> yes, exactly. 
But isn't that the place where Donald Duck is banned for the same reason? I have no clue. I know, I know, I know, I know one country has Donald Duck banned. I made a map there. there. For some reason, I thought that 20 was a multiple of 8, and that screwed me up. Oh, you. The good news is that it's still early. The bad news is that there aren't many quarter coins left now. And there's no way I'm going to carry on a, a coin count of 6. It, it ended up not making any difference because there was a 1 the next round, so... So you managed to get what you needed. Right, and, and I got bad luck there too because all the border coins were odd numbers and I needed an even number. I could have just used one of the entry coins. Yeah, you see, I'm I'm not doing well right now. Do not use At this point, basically, I need to have, like, not bad luck. I need the core not to be a one. Like, for the rest of the game. And with seven turns left, the chances of that are not so good. Got it. But if you look at my score each turn, you'll notice that, you know, it, it, it's, I'm gaining more and more because of the echo bonus. Yeah, the best thing to do, in the ideal turn, you can use one entry coin and two border coins. So, see, now I'm up to 27. Mm -hmm. Which means that you'll get the echo, you'll get the number listed to the right of echo times two, because you used two border coins. Now I'll only get times one, because I just used one border coin. Actually, I think the number listed there is one less than what the game actually It's one less than what the game actually counts because the game counts what it was on the previous turn. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. The the number the multiplier is actually one more than what you see there because the number that it has there is what it was for the previous turn. So yeah, I I managed to do it. Winning. So Riku apparently did not win. Oh, oh poor so Riku. Who beat you? Look who it is. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, of Mercury, really. Once you get the hang of it. Now he's right about that. Once I outplay Yuna, the tournament is. He's wrong about that. <laughs> get him, Yuna. You're going down. Or rather, he would be right, the but the, 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 the assumption there is, is incorrect. Okay, you need 50 coins here. You also get less time per turn, but as I've said, the time I don't find the time limits to be a problem. His butts. A children's coin game! <laughs> <laughs> I take it so seriously. Well, I guess Rin is a good, uh, salesman. <laughs> the reason why I choose a low coin count, you, you could get, you know, you could potentially get more coins if you, uh, if you use a higher coin count, but if you do that, then you risk running out of coins and not having a, a way to, to get the proper, you know, the multiple of the proper number. And if that happens, you lose. Don't do that. Yeah. So, I got a one, which means that I have to start the echo all over again.
Well, eight, two or a seven, yeah, seven. So yeah, I am not on pace right now, but that's just because my Echo hasn't built up enough. That, that's all. Yes. What? Which was has you built me? Yeah. And you were going to say? I was just going to say that's the way it always goes. Like yeah, I think I got did I get seven that turn? Yeah, I think I got seven that turn. Right now I'm getting closer to where I should be. Looks there. Oh, and now I get screwed. Oh no! Uh oh, spaghetti-o! So I have four turns and I need 14 points. Or rather, 15. So I think, yeah, what I do now is I risk it and I make it four coins instead of three. And remember, the entry coins do count toward the, the total for the Echo bonus. Like, for continuing the Echo, not for determining how many points you get. I hope my explanations make some sort of sense. All right, I have two turns left. Do it. Beat him. You can do it. We believe in you. Believe it. Yay. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I, I met him at MAGFest. Where did and you meet him? The of the first Fair Break tournament is... Um, at Alcon, if you've heard of that. It's in England, I'm guessing? Yes. Okay. I'm not familiar with what the, the big cons are in England. Uh, the next the UK con is Kids Con. I think I've mentioned that to you before. Like the box? Thank you. Kitsukan, did you uh, say? No, Kitsukan. Oh, okay. So, guess what? That trophy contains a dress sphere. Of course it does. Because that would be really useful to anybody who won the tournament, and not just Yuna. Anyway, the Lady Luck Dress Sphere, one, one of the useful purposes of this one is catching up Yuna on level, because as, as I've mentioned, for some reason the game designers made it so that she would gain levels less quickly even with the same number of experience points compared to the other two. Of course there are also some other neat things that you can do with it. But, as you would expect from a dress sphere called Lady Luck, it can also screw you over. Yeah, I guess. Of course. Just don't disappoint your side. So, yeah, there are some, you know, pitches, sales pitches you can make around here. And there's also a feature that I 
usually forget about, but I remembered it. I remembered it this time. It's completely optional. Um. Okay. I thought I had done a better job of editing this time. Uh, yeah, it's completely optional, doesn't add to any story completion percent or something, but it's a cool thing if you want to use it, so I show that off in a few minutes. Okay, I think I think I have the solution to this problem. Whenever, the thing is that when I see, when I'm editing and I see that I've paused the game, of course I cut that part. What I need to do is pause whenever I'm, you know, just standing there. <laughs> Because like in these in these sections, I'm I'm looking at the guide to see which the which options are the right ones. 